had a severe paranoid disorder with morbid jealousy. He lived in a distorted reality. The jury took just one hour to find him guilty. Life sentences in the UK don't automatically mean life. In rare cases, the judge can impose a whole life order. But for the majority of life sentences, the judge begins with a predetermined starting point of between 15 and 30 years, depending on the circumstances of the crime and the age of the defendant. The length is then extended for any aggravating factors and reduced for any mitigating circumstances which haven't been taken into account when setting the starting period. Whilst sentencing Smith to a minimum of 20 years in prison, the presiding judge gave the following statement. Quote, you are a highly dangerous person. You are an abuser of women and I intend so far as it is in my power that you will abuse no more. The jury, which consisted of seven men and five women, were offered professional counselling due to the horrors they had witnessed and hear throughout the trial. Every single one of them accepted. It shows just how horrific that trial must have been. But all juries are offered this service and it is relatively unheard of for every single member to accept that offer. Kelly's parents didn't feel able to publicly talk about Kelly's death until 2015. The home they were living in was bulldozed and turned into a Tesco. Margaret got a job at the branch and said there, check out face the area where their living room used to be. She stated that she felt closer to Kelly when there than anywhere else. Margaret and Tommy never felt able to request the post-mortem report, unable to read and see the travesties which her baby girl endured. Margaret had been battling with health problems and twice managed to beat cancer, but she eventually passed away in December 2020. She died with the thought of Smith's potential upcoming release and looming over her. Rest in peace, Kellyanne Bates. If you or anybody you know are affected by domestic abuse or is a victim of potential grooming, please don't suffer in silence. There are numerous charities which can give anonymous help and advice to people in trouble. Women can call the Free Phone National Domestic Abuse Helpline run by Refuge on wait wait two zero 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 two four seven for free at any time, day or night. Or they can visit the site online at or they can visit the site online at www.nationalda that's Delta Alpha Helpline dot org dot UK. Men can call Men's Advice Line on 0808-8010-327, Mondays and Wednesdays, 9am to 8pm, and Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays, 9am to 5pm, or can visit online at www.mensadviceline.org.uk. Men can also call Mankind on 0182 Three 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 four five four two eight for emotional and practical support, or they can visit online at www.mankind.org.uk. If you identify as LGBT+, you can call Gallop on 0800 999 for emotional and practical support, or you can visit online at www.gallop.org.uk forward slash domestic abuse. Childline can be reached by calling 0800 1111 or by visiting www.childline.org.uk. When browsing or looking at websites, there is an incognito setting which will automatically delete your visit from your device's history. If you are in fear of your electronic devices being checked, use the incognito setting before visiting any of these websites and it will not show up. Thank you for listening. Why not hit that subscribe or follow button to be the first to know when new episodes hit and leave a lovely sparkly review. It would greatly help an indie platform to grow while doing what we love. Catch you on the other side.